Sisters. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. And uh, San Diego Comic Con did not actually happen in person this year. They did Comic Con at home. But every year at San Diego Comic Con, when there is a San Diego Comic Con, there are exclusives. There are exclusive items you can only get at the con. And they become very, very sought after. Well, this year, most of those items were sold online because there was no con. Uh, I There was a couple I wanted. For example, there was a Mr. T action figure, a WWE Mr. T action figure. Really cool looking. I wanted one. I didn't get it. It sold out immediately, which is very upsetting because anyone who knows me knows I love Mr. T. And that's probably the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I say finger quotes because there was nothing at San Diego this year. But that was the one I wanted the most. However, uh, you guys know I love the movie Tron. Uh, I did not wear this shirt by design. It's actually a coincidence I'm wearing this shirt. It was ha happened to be the next thing in the closet. But happy accident. It happened to coincide. There was a Tron exclusive, and there's a Trash Unicorn. Uh, there was a Tron exclusive this year, and, and I did get it. And we are going to um, unbox this Tron exclusive action figure right now. This is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Tron figure. And it's the only exclusive item I got from San Diego this year. And comes from one box to another. You'll see this box says VHS on it. It says uh, Tron Deluxe VHS figure box set. So here's the deal. When Tron came out on VHS uh, back in the day, this was the front of the box. That's what the Tron VHS looked like on the front. You may recognize it. But on the back of the box, if you turn the box over, it had this image. This image. Now look at the coloring of Tron. That's not how he appeared in the movie. Uh, that's uh, I don't know why they colored him like this on the back of the VHS box, but that's the way they colored him. So uh, they decided for the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. You know, there's these Tron figures. I've I've showed you a couple. Here's uh here's Flynn. I did like an unboxing for the Flynn figure uh, a while back. You can find that on this channel. Me unboxing the the, the Flynn figure. Uh, they decided this year to do a Comic-Con exclusive of the VHS version. The, the, the coloring of Tron on the VHS box. And I'm opening this box and I thought there was a, you know, I thought there was going to be an, another box. It's just a piece of cardboard. Some tissue paper. Here it is. Here it is. Um, this is the box that the Tron uh, figure comes in. Now, this is art that was used on a VHS box for Tron, not the original. Uh, the, the original VHS release was um, this. But th then in re-releases, they went to this. Now you'll look, they put this in a Disney clamshell style case. This looks like a clamshell VHS, this box. And if you look on the back, there's the image I was talking about. There is Tron in the uh, in the VHS box coloring. So let's um let's open this up. It's sealed. See that? It's sealed. I actually have to break the seal to get this out. Wonder how I can do this in a way that'll cause the least amount of damage. Uh, I hate to cut it. I hate to cut it. That's a beautiful little little seal there. But it looks like I'm gonna have to cut it if I want to open this thing. Oh man, I'm sure someone somewhere is like an expert and knows how to do this kind of thing. I'm just going to peel it down. It's not going to be perfect. It's unfortunate. I'd like to leave that completely intact if possible. And I don't see how I could. Oh my God, there's more tape on here. There's scotch tape holding this shut that I couldn't even see. There we go. There's a piece of scotch tape. Is there more over here? There is more. Damn packaging engineers, as my wife would say. That's what she always says. Damn packaging engineers. This is from Diamond Select Toys. Diamond Select Toys has made this. There's their their logo. They, they also made old Flynn here. 
All right, I think we're gonna be able to open this now. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow, okay. Now, first of all, <laughs> I'll leave that intact so you can see it. I'll leave that intact so you can see it. First of all, when you open the clamshell, all the accessories are on this side and there's a Tron VHS tape in there, but it's just a, I haven't removed this yet, so I'm looking at it through the camera. You're gonna get a better look at it than I do for my first viewing. But you take this little piece of paper off and there's Tron. There's Tron. Now I'm looking at him through the camera, so I haven't even seen him yet. Let me look at him. Let me, as Vader says, look on him with my own eyes. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Uh, he comes with two sets of hands, extra set of hands, which uh, when I opened uh, Flynn, I pointed out he had two separate sets of hands too. I'm really not sure why they need a separate set of hands, but let's, um, can I get Tron out of the box without damaging the box? Because he's pushed down in the plastic and um, I don't want to destroy the plastic, but I do want to get Tron out of the plastic. Uh, there we go. There we go. And as I feared, I have kind of curled up this seal a little. I, I really wanted to leave that intact because I thought it was pretty cool. But, um, it is what it is. They had it in such a way that I was not going to be able to open this in any way. So there we go. I got Tron out. His hands are still in the box. Let's, uh, let's take a look at Tron. There he is. There is the Tron action figure with the VHS box coloring. I think he's, uh, he's pretty sharp looking. Obviously, he's not film accurate because he doesn't look like this in the movie. But it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little variant because, you know, we did have that image on the VHS box. And now there he is. Look, he matches the VHS box now. And I'll hit my regular Tron. Now keep in mind, this Tron here is not from the same set. This is from the Kingdom Hearts set. But uh, there's regular Tron and VHS box Tron. Hello, Tron. Hello, Tron. How you doing, Tron? I'm doing good, Tron. How are you, Tron? I'm doing good, Tron. I get a little silly with my action figures. So let's, uh, let's look at his articulation. Obviously his head's articulated. His, uh, his wrists spin. Okay. Uh, he's got an elbow joint. You can move his elbows. And uh, he's got the old, what they call ab crunch, though he doesn't go down that far. His ab crunch, it's more like an ab twirl. He can twirl, but he can't really... Uh, there's artic no, there is not articulation at the waist. I thought the waist would turn. The waist does not turn. Uh, the legs move this way. The legs move, um, uh, or, or, well, actually that's it. The legs move that way. They, oh, they kind of move up and down. Kind of move. They move better this way. Uh, we got the twirly legs, bends at the knee, and he's got ankle articulation. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't like um, articulating them too much because I'm always afraid they're going to break. Uh, I've had that, like when, when I took uh, this Tron out of the box, he had some friends with him. He had like Goofy in, in a Tron costume and, and they broke almost as soon as they came out of the box. So I always feel like these things are maybe a little bit brittle. So maybe you need to um, treat them with a little bit more care. I'm always afraid to articulate them. So uh, I just find a pose and kind of stick them on the shelf that way. This one I might keep in the box because the box does easily open and close. I can open that and close that as easy as I want, but it's in a VHS clamshell. So that's, that's a pretty cool uh, uh, display item right there. So there you go. Tron San Diego exclusive VHS uh, edition or VHS coloring. And uh, I like it. I like it. It's a it's a neat little variant. What do you guys think? Are you Tron fans? Am I the only Tron fan? Tron was a a, a a divisive movie. I know a lot of people really, 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 really love Tron. It's obviously found a cult following over the years. But I remember at the time, a lot of people considered Tron to be like a misfire. They're like, oh, Tron sucks. Tron was garbage. The Simpsons even made a joke about Tron. So people at the time did not like Tron. I always chalk that up to Tron was ahead of its time. 
but even to this day, I have a couple friends I know who don't care for Tron at all. They don't like it. So whereas it's one of my all-time favorite movies, not everyone feels the same. How do you feel about Tron? And what do you think of the um, what do you think of the VHS Tron coloring action figure? Did you have this Tron VHS growing up? Did you always wonder why he was colored differently on the back? Let me know. Comments down below. There we go. VHS Tron, San Diego exclusive 2020. Not sold in San Diego because there was no San Diego in 2020. There was a city. The city of San Diego still exists in 2020. For those of you watching this in the future, future archaeologists who come upon this video, don't be alarmed. The city of San Diego did exist in 2020. There was no San Diego Comic-Con in 2020. I'm using a little shorthand here when I say no San Diego. I don't mean there's no city of San Diego. I got to say that for the future archaeologists who find this uh, and get confused. Thanks for joining me. Keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone to be. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.